Hi, I'm Tiam Se. Welcome to our new series on E3D, Getting Started. This series is for anyone who wants to know about how to get started in E3D. When you start E3D, you will get this locking screen. To access E3D, you must have a user account and password. The username and password will allow you to read or write to the project. At the same time, it also controls the modules you can access in E3D. Right at the top, the project that I've selected is called Broch APJS, and there are three reference projects which you see as ACP, CPL, and PSL. Unlike when you access programs like AutoCAD, where you actually open a DWG file, for E3D projects, you are basically accessing a project, and the system administrator will set up this link to access the project. The system administrator will set up links to the project by editing the batch file provided in the software. Let's take a look at the project files. The project files are directories of files and you can see there's a custom evash.bat file and you need to set up the environment variable to point to the projects. Let's look at the project Aviva plant sample. Inside this directory, there are other sub-directories. The most important is the 000 directory. This is where the database files are stored. Setting the environment variable to point to the project di directory, you have given the access of the project to the user. To continue design in, uh, in 3D space, we have to use our user account and password, select an MDB and use the model module. The MDB is multiple DB. This is a setting done by the system administrator to group a group of DBs together. This group of DB will provide you the ability to assess the catalog, the site and zone to create your 3D model, the drawings to create your 2D drawings and also your spools. The MDB can restrict you to assess certain parts of the projects or the full projects. So we are choosing the sample add MDB for Aviva product. The modules you can use are found below. Model is for creating 3D model, draw for creating 2D drawings, isodraft for isometrics, spool is for creating spools from the pipes that you have modeled. If you click the arrow button, you will see more modules. The additional modules Paragon is for catalog and specs for all sorts of component-driven items in model and PropCon is to create properties for those components. Let's start with the model module. We can think of the interface in terms of a few parts. Right at the top, we have the quick access toolbar and we have the ribbon light manual which consists of tabs and groups at the bottom we have the notification area the message area and the status bar on the left there's a sliding form which holds the model explorer 
and I call out the attribute form which is hosted by the right sliding form. Next, we look at the view area. The view area has a power compass below. Perhaps I like to move the view compass to the top right and I can do this by clicking on the compass and drag it to the top right or any position. To get the maximum view area, we can hide the left and right sliding form. We do this by clicking on the tab. Doing a right click in the view will bring up the contact sensitive power wheel. The power wheel will change its content depending on whether you are clicking on the element or in the blank view. Normally, I like to move the power compass to the top right. Using the right form, sliding form as reference, I move the power compass near the top right corner of the view. Now, let's look at some of the options. Let's select the view and let's configure the power compass. Normally, I would like to keep the power compass small and I want to look north rather than look from north. The left and right sliding form can be divided into two portions. You slide the divider to do this. You can dock another explorer in the new portion of the sliding form. We do the same for the right sliding form. Let's dock our command window below. Besides docking on the left and right sliding form, you can float the form so that you can use on a second monitor. We can add the measure button to the quick access toolbar by using a right click and says add to quick access toolbar. Next, we look at the workspace for individual discipline. You select the discipline workspace and new commands will be available for that particular discipline. When we choose equipment, we have a new tab consists of equipment groups of command. The Model Explorer gives you a view of the database. To view in the 3D workspace, you can use XCE to do so. You also can actually do a drag and drop from the Explorer to the 3D view. The button on the top right will maximize the viewing space. We drag the middle mouse button to do rotation. The center of rotation is the point where you actually put your cursor on. If you put your cursor around an area and you use the wheel, the wheel will ensure that the cursor will always be in the view. Positioning your cursor and clicking the middle mouse button will move that point to the center of the view.
at any point in time, there is something called current element. When we click the explorer, that element becomes the current element. We can select the item in the 3D view using the left mouse button. You can see the explorer will follow the item that you have selected. The power wheel also allows us to quickly center on the item that we selected. Now let's use the power compass to manipulate our view. Remember we set the option to be look north. So when I click on the north button, we are actually looking north. And when I click on the up button, we are looking up. The left and right arrow below the power compass allow us to go to the previous view that we actually went to. Now let's look at the various methods we can create more view in our E3D. First, let's say we want to copy to a Chrome view. So what that does is it will create another view with the same content that we had previously. In the Chrome view, when we add an item to any of the views, the item will be updated in the other view as well. Now let us use copy to a separate view. Let us select the Chrome view and remove the structures. You will see that the structure in the separate view are not removed because it's not a Chrome view. We can also create a local view, which is a view without any elements. Let's move this view to the other group. We can add any element to this view without affecting the others. Able to manipulate the views and using the views efficiently will help you in your plan design. This simple introduction should give you an understanding of the database in E3D, the interface, and the 3D model. We will cover how to create equipment in the next tutorial. See you!